Hello, welcome to The Dully Diaries. My name is Crystal and it's an absolute delight that you decided to drop by today. Thank you. Uh, we are going to be playing with a couple of beautiful palettes today. I've got the Ace Beauté Palette Opaly, which I am loving sick. It is so beautiful and there's so much versatility in it. And I'm also going to be using the Adept Cosmetics Plain Jane Remastered Palette, which is this little beauté here. So we're going to be doing a get ready with me and I'm also going to be chatting a little bit about why I decided to start a YouTube channel in the first place. So if that all sounds good to you, then just continue what you're doing, really. Sit there, relax, and hopefully enjoy. <laughs> Let's get into it. So on my face already, I have done my sunscreen and I have done my primer and a little bit of concealer. I use my one and only Holy Grail concealer from Casas. It's the Revealer Concealer. My shade is 3W and this concealer is the best. I've been through six tubes of this stuff because I love it so much. It just looks so beautiful on the skin and sometimes I would just wear the concealer and nothing else and it's just makes me look better than I look. <laughs> Alrighty, now for foundation, I am using my Natural Mineral Cover Radiant Loose Powder Foundation from Nude by Nature, and my shade is N4. Oh, neighborhood dog's going off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like to use the Nude by Nature brush as well, the little kabuki, to apply that. Yeah, I love this foundation so much because I don't know, it's just easy to wear. It always looks beautiful and it's clean. <laughs> so yeah, it's not putting disgusting toxins into my skin, which is nice. Oh my Lord, that dog is not having a good time. There we go, I was waiting for mine to kick off. <laughs> it's okay, Bills. You don't have to be grumpy too. <laughs> So for those who don't know, Nude by Nature is an Australian brand and they make beautiful, clean makeup products with lots of really lovely Australian ingredients in them, like kakadu plum and all that kind of stuff. So I just lay this on until I feel like I'm happy with the coverage. I actually got attacked yesterday by my boyfriend's doormat. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Um, yeah, we went to Ikea to pick up a couple of things because I really want to get my storage situation under control. And I was carrying his doormat that he was buying and the thing literally touched my face and took off my skin. I don't know what it's going to do to his feet. <laughs> Ikea is a dangerous place, guys. I have realized that I'm really like <laughs> rough with the way I do things. Like when I put my skin serums and things on at night. I'm literally just like slap them on. <laughs> um, and I don't know why, because I've always been really gentle with everyone else's faces. <laughs> it's just, just mine. I'm happy to go to town on. All right. Yep. Loving that. I also have this Real Techniques powder sponge and I'm just going to tap that into the powder, tap it off a little, just add a bit of extra coverage to my nerves. Because Lord knows I need it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> and delirious, apparently. Now I am just going to put over the top of that the Nude by Nature Mineral Finishing Veil in natural. And literally just taking the same little kabuki brush. Just spritz that over the top. Lovely. All right. Also, if you're wondering which primer I have on today, it is the Hydra Grip Primer from Milk, which I really like using during summer because it's quite grippy, <laughs> as it says on the box. For eyebrows, I'm going in with two Benefit products. I've got the Gimme Brow Gel in Lord knows what color. It's so frustrating with this product because all of the labeling just rubs off straight away and you never know what color you're using. So then it's a case of I always have to go back into the store and just whip out the dregs that I have left and try and match it up. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those small grabs. And the other product from Benefit that I'm going to be using on my brows is the 24 hour brow setter. Just to hold those little guys in place because they are a bit unruly. 
So yeah, I said I was going to chat a little bit about why I got into YouTube and that is kind of a long story. So I, I used to be a working makeup artist. That's what I used to do for a job at the same time as playing gigs with my band. So I've worked for Napoleon Inglot, Bobby Brown. I always loved makeup, always. I think because I was, I grew up singing and dancing and doing concerts and performances and things. So makeup kind of came with that. And so I developed a love for it. And so, yeah, I ended up getting into makeup. And when I was working in it, I started to fall out of love with it because in re retail makeup, it's pretty stressful if you're in a busy place on a busy counter. Like your weekends are literally just back to back makeups with no time to wee and <laughs> or eat. And you don't even have time to clean your brushes in between. And at the same time as you're trying to do a makeup, you're trying to sell products to all of the customers that are walking into your store and do a foundation match, as well as get the makeup done and get that client out of there with their products within 40 minutes. So it's pretty tight turnaround. And I just ended up falling out of love with it. I burnt out. While I was doing that, I did a course in radio. I went to radio school and I just did part time. And to be honest, I didn't think I was going to do very well because I was really, really unwell with endo at the time. Uh, it was making it really difficult for me to get to the classes. So I missed a couple, but somehow <laughs> I ended up uh, graduating that course with the big star award, which is, I don't know, I guess it's the, the talent award or something like that. And I ended up having an interview two weeks later for a job up in Northern Rivers, which I'll put a little map up here so you can see the distance from where I live to where I was applying for the job. I got the job and at the same time, I was actually officially diagnosed with endo. So I was really sick with it in that I was vomiting during my periods. I was in so much pain. I literally wanted to die and I could not figure out what was going on. I saw doctors who told me just to toughen up and there was nothing wrong with me. And I would leave bawling my eyes out because I was so desperate to be helped. Anyway, it all culminated with, I ended up in hospital and I ended up having a surgery literally the week before I was supposed to move up for this new job in radio in an industry I'd never worked in before. So that got pushed back by a couple of weeks and I just resigned my makeup job. So I was scared they weren't going to hold my job for me. Uh, now I'm just taking my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. It's a cream one. I love it. And I'm just using a Real Techniques brush, Rebel Edge Medium <laughs> to apply it. Right. So anyway, sorry, the story is jumping around a little, but I did end up moving up for this job in Northern Rivers. And let me tell you, I mean, it's hard enough when you change industries and you're doing a job that you've never done before. But I had never touched a radio panel in my life. You didn't play with the panel when you did the course. And all of a sudden I was supposed to be on air live from 10 till two every day. And I had no friggin' idea what I was doing. I had no clue. I was like, oh, what does this button do? Am I gonna, am I gonna take off the radio? Or are we gonna, am I gonna break things? And so when you have a new job, it's stressful enough when you're trying to learn it. And of course you're gonna make mistakes. But let me tell you, when you have a new job and it's a live radio and you have thousands of people hearing you make the mistakes, it's a high pressure situation. <laughs> And I get anxiety. And so it was just a nightmare. The whole thing was a nightmare. Anyway, um, I somehow managed to survive <laughs> and I learned the ropes thanks to a friend of mine that I got along with really well, who was also from Adelaide. His name is Craig and he was a godsend. And so oh, I love this bronzer. It's just so, so nice. <laughs> I love it so much. And I really like this, this brush for applying it. It's just super soft. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I survived the first few months and my boss was toxic. So every day at work, we would have people in tears. We had the safe work people coming because there'd been harassment claims made. It was just a really toxic environment. And at the same time, my boyfriend was being a horrible person <laughs> and it was just an awful living situation. I was away from my friends and family and everything was just terrible. And so I decided that as soon as my lease was up, I was coming home 
I didn't care if I never worked in radio again and I didn't care if my boyfriend came with me. <laughs> We're not together anymore, by the way. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got my bronzer on. I'm happy with that, it's really pretty. I'm just gonna put my moles back on my face, <laughs> the ones I've covered up. So, yeah, decided I was coming home. And luckily I actually got a job in Adelaide and I started breakfast radio here in South Australia uh, near my hometown. And I did that for nearly five years. Uh, getting up at 3.30 every day and driving an hour and a quarter to work and then getting home at 4.30 in the afternoon and doing it all again the next day. Uh, and during that time I had two endo surgeries. My endo was terrible, it was a struggle. <laughs> And then it got to the point where COVID happened and a lot of things changed. All right, I'm going to start on the eyes now and I'm going to prep them with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. Yeah, so COVID happened and uh, also my beautiful boss, Mel, who had been struggling with her health the entire time I'd worked at Power as well. She, she had to leave because she was diagnosed once again with cancer, which she had already beaten multiple times. And like that wasn't enough. <laughs> she was then diagnosed with motor neuron disease. And so she and her husband, Chris, who also worked with us left and I just couldn't do it anymore. And I was due to have another couple of surgeries and I was like, no, I can't do this. I can't. I can't sustain this anymore. My body is killing me. And so with those guys gone as well, I decided it was time for me to leave. Well, sort of. I actually wanted to go part-time. Even though it was fine with my boss and my studio and my station because they wanted me to stay, the people interstate said no. So that meant I had to leave. And I had three surgeries. I was unemployed for the first time in my life and I didn't know what the hell I was going to do and my mental health was really struggling. Picking up the Ace Beauté Palette Opoly Palette now and taking a refer number 15. I'm going to jump in with, oh gosh, what do I want to use? I'm going to jump in with the shade Friends. <laughs> what a great TV show that was. Oh, that's so pretty. These are so pigmented, so you definitely tap off your brush first. I <laughs> Could have tapped mine off more. Actually, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit now that we're getting to the eyes. Just a tad. Yes, so unemployed for the first time in my life. I was incredibly depressed. <laughs> and I didn't know what my future held. And I couldn't work out how I was contributing anything valuable to society. And it was a really, really bloody difficult time. <laughs> really difficult time. I was very poor and I didn't know what to do with myself. So I decided that I missed playing with makeup and I wanted to still share things with an audience, even though I wasn't in radio anymore. And so I decided it was time to start my YouTube channel and find back my love of makeup and hopefully just share a little bit of passion and even just entertain some people because, you know, that's what radio is really. And connecting with people. I love that. And the mo most important thing as well is that it kept my mind busy. It gave me something to focus on. I could sit here and film videos with a wheat bag on my lap and I loved the editing process as well. It just kept my mind busy. I'm someone who overthinks everything. And so to go from working crazy hours, like, you know, 11 hour days to not working, <laughs> it was just doing my head in and I couldn't, I couldn't continue down that path. And so eventually I started making my YouTube videos, even though I had this real hang up about like, I feel embarrassed. I didn't even tell anyone that I'd started the channel, like none of my friends or, you know, uh, work people, nobody knew that I'd started a makeup channel because I was just shy and I thought I looked like a knob. <laughs> and even now I struggle to, I struggle to tell people that I have this channel, but I'm getting better at it because I actually love what I'm doing. It's, 
yeah, I love it. And I love connecting with you guys. And so now I'm getting better at talking about it and telling people that I'm doing this. But anyway, I ended up getting back into radio. Uh, so now I work casually and I do more hours, obviously, during um, survey breaks in radio. So when all the regular announcers are on holes, but I also do weekend shifts and I do editing during the week. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm in a much better place now. My endo has been really playing up lately, but I've just had an appointment with a doctor who specializes in prescribing CBD products. In Australia, they are friggin' hard to get. It costs, like my appointment cost me $110 just to talk about <laughs> what products might help me with my pain, my insomnia, my anxiety. Um, so it's super expensive and they're super restricted, but at least it's happening because we couldn't even get CBD products a couple of years ago, which was really difficult because I used to read blogs of endo people in Canada and California, and they were having really good results with pain relief with products that were CBD products. And I was just like, why can't I get those? Hold that thought. My mom's calling. Oh, <laughs> give me a sec. Ah, we're back. <laughs> and actually just on the subject of my mom and my dad, they have been so incredibly supportive throughout my journey with endo. I don't know what I would have done without them. Truly, I don't know what I would have done without them. So, uh, yeah, so CBD products, super expensive just to have an appointment. And I got my script for the products that she prescribed me. And the amount is like $670 if I want to get it filled. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> the YouTube channel, honestly, like this thing has saved my life. I, I'm so grateful that I started it and I love doing it and it really gives me a lot. And I hope that it gives you a lot as well. Just a little tea break here. I'm drinking a revive green tea at the moment. Proud dog mom. Oh. <laughs> I'm obsessed with my puppy. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got that on the eye, I'm going to actually take my Sephora packing brush and take that exact same color, friends. And I just want to pack it on on the outside here. I mean, this isn't a tutorial, but <laughs> I can't help myself. Because uh, I want the color to just be a bit more concentrated there. It's so cool how you can... It looks like it's two different shadows, just by the way... I've applied it. Isn't that cool? The magic of makeup. Yeah, love that. Love that. Yeah, so essentially that is why I am here on YouTube and I also really want to get into getting some vlogs up and stuff like that because I don't know, it just comes naturally to me with the radio stuff and I've always been in the entertainment industry. So I just like to, I just like to entertain. <laughs> So yeah, um, hoping to do that and I'm obsessed with travel. So I really want to get some travel vlogs going as well one day, but of course, you know, money, <laughs> but that is my, that is my goal. I will always do makeup, but I also want to add in some cool things like that. And if you ever have any questions about endometriosis, anything that I do to try and help myself, then I am always welcoming those questions too. Next, I reckon we're going to whip out the old Adept Cosmetics Plain Jane remastered palette. And I think I want to take the shade AC11, which is this one down the bottom. Ooh, it's looking heaps blue in there, isn't it? It looks super purple to me. And I'm going to use the NYX Glitter Primer. So during my endo life, I've had six or seven surgeries now. I start to lose count, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm really hopeful that some of these CD, CDB, that's an old Australian pop group and they make really good music. It, you can find them on Spotify. <laughs> like CBD products <laughs> are going to help with my pain. And it's going to be able to delay any further surgery for a little while. That'd be so great. That's my, that's my hope. Okay. Oh, she's pretty. 
You might have seen, and if you haven't, <laughs> I've got a video up using the Adept Cosmetics Minka palette. And I love that palette. I think it's beautiful. I do think there's some really pretty colors in the Plain Jane as well. But the formula's quite dry and quite hard in a lot of the shades in this palette, as opposed to, I'm pretty sure the formula of the Minka palette has shea butter included in the, in the shadows. So they're very, very different feeling. The other ones are way more emollient. But I mean, this is a beautiful color. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now that that's on the old eye. Very pretty. I'm gonna figure out the next step. For the inner corner, I think I'm gonna use this one here. Again, it's a little multi-chrome number. And I'm just gonna wet my finger to put that in the corner. That one is a lot smoother than the other one I just put on the lid, so it picks up a lot easier. So obviously slightly different in formula. Mm, that's really nice. Really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, now where I'm at is obviously working in um, at the radio station and I do voiceover work as well. So if you're in Adelaide, you might have heard me on a couple of TV commercials doing voiceover. And I do voiceover for a lot of like businesses, YouTube explainer videos, that kind of stuff, which is really cool because I can do that from home. So that's awesome. And I quite enjoy doing it as well. Again, I just need to have my mind busy. <laughs> okay, that's looking super pretty. <laughs> what I think I want to do is just add a little bit more something something in the outer corner. So going back into my Ace Beauté palette, Opaly palette, and going to pick up the shade. Hmm, do I want to go pinky or purpley? I think I'm going to take this shade here, shoulder pads. Who doesn't love a good shoulder pad, right? And using this old, I don't know what brand it is, but it hard, small shader brush. All right, so this is just going on the outside. I like that. So mentally, I am in a much better place now. <laughs> and I am also on antidepressants, which made a huge difference for me because I had tried counseling and I had tried everything else but I think a lot of my struggle was situational and I just needed something to help me uh, deal with where I was at at that point in time I'm certainly not saying that it's it's a solution for everyone and everything but for me I'm very grateful for them even though they've made me stack on weight but hey What's more important here? I think we know the answer to that. <laughs> so just blending that off, there was nothing on this brush. This is from Sigma Precision Firm Blender. Okay, yeah, I like that. Underneath the eye, I'm kind of vibing something a little more hot pinky. So I'm gonna take the shade at Neon. Why not? Let's just get out there with it and run that under the lash line with a small refer pencil brush. I love this Palladopoly palette, by the way. It's so cool. And I actually played the game the other day because I was staring at my makeup and I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to put on my face. <laughs> and uh, so I played the game and it turned out great. <laughs> and it's really fun. If you don't know, Palladopoly from Ace Beauty actually comes with a game. It decides your makeup look for you basically and it's really, it's really a lot of fun to play. Good for inspiration. I'm doing an insane amount of talking in this video. I don't normally talk this much but <laughs> hope you're still with me. And just in the outer lower lash line I'm taking that shade Friends again. Oop, brush down. <laughs> Casualty. I used to be in an acoustic duo called Casualty Corner. <laughs> I thought that was such a sick name. Kind of still do. Okay. And now just taking this shade from Plain Jane. Just wetting my finger. These are really quite hard pressed, so I don't really worry about fallout. 
I'm putting it under my eye. That's just going in the center. Oh, that looks really good actually. Better than I even expected. That's so pretty. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking, but I just quickly want to take the Sigma Precision Firm Blender brush and dip into, I think the shade Vogue. I just want to add a little bit up here. Yeah, that's better. Dutch spreader. Happy with that. Now, if you wonder why I never really highlight my brow bone, it's because my eyes are already quite far back. So my brow bone is already more prominent. So the last thing I want to do is highlight here because all that's going to do is when the light hits that, it's going to stand out and it's going to look even bigger. <laughs> so that's why I don't put highlight under my brow bone. I'm really happy with that. I think it's really pretty. Okay, the other day I picked up this Stiller Stay All Day Artie Sticks graphic liner in a mumbo. Thought we might give that one a whirl. I actually didn't even get to test it because the tester was dead. They didn't have another one. So I don't even know what this is gonna look like. <laughs> Meh. It washes off, right? Let's see. I think I kept the receipt, so if it sucks, I can take it back. Oh, it's quite pretty, here. Yeah. Ooh, that's what it looks like on the hand. It's pretty metallic purple. So yeah, if there's anything you wanna know, please let's chat. And I love it when you guys leave me comments. It means the absolute world to me. So you are always welcome. Okay, I think that's really pretty. Uh, but what I am gonna do is take my Charlotte Tilbury, this is, you know, the double-ended duo. I've spoken about these at length and there is a dedicated video to my Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners. I'm gonna take the dark purple matte end and I'm gonna just run that into the, right into the upper rim of the lid. Cause I want a little bit more definition there. Yeah. Can you see the difference that has made? Jesus, I need to sharpen this. Oh my God. Literally just stabbed myself with wood. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't sharpen your pencils, kids. Let that be a lesson. <laughs> I do feel like they get to a point well, they don't sharpen very well anymore. Did you find that as well? For some reason, I do feel like all of my NARS pencil sharpeners kill my pencils. And literally a $7 one from Priceline does a better job. Okay, now that's on. All right, we're going to take it up a level. I'm just doing this because I can, okay? <laughs> I'm going to take the Melt Cosmetics Concha Pigment Paint on an angled brush. Which I currently can't locate, so I'm actually going to take this little teeny weeny number from Refa, which is not angled, <laughs> but we'll do the job. And then have it sort of fade into the purple. Just adds a little something, something. Been into this lately. And if you feel like you're stuffed up, you can just go back in. <laughs> I don't feel like I've stuffed up. I just wanted to add a bit more. Yeah. For my inner rim, I'm just going to use a slick waterline eye pencil from Melt in the shade Ivory. Now taking my Tarte Opening Act Lash Primer. This is my holy grail. <laughs> just prepping my eyelashes. Oh, by the way, guys, I am on the hunt for the shiniest, juiciest lip gloss getting around. So I'm taking suggestions. If you have 
any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I want, yeah, the shiniest gloss of all time. And I wouldn't mind if it had a little bit of pigment as well, but you know, we'll see. I'd love to know what you guys love. I do love the Tarte Maracuya, um, the Juicy Lip Gloss. That always looks incredible on the lips. So, you know, something kind of along those lines. I haven't tried the Fenty ones before, but I'm intrigued maybe. Maybe that would be something good to try. I've always been more of a lipstick lover, so I have five gazillion lipsticks in my life. But yeah, I really want to get a super, super, super juicy <laughs> lip gloss. If it's a clean formula, even better, but it doesn't have to be. I do wear a lot of clean lipsticks. Just cause, you know, if I can, I will. This is a new tube of my mascara, which, oh, by the way, is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. It's my fave. Um, and just a little tip, I don't know, you maybe do this already anyway, but every time I apply my mascara and I'm holding it in this hand, I hold my finger over it. <laughs> so I'll just stand here and be like this, putting my mascara on just so that the air doesn't get into it and make it dry up faster than it needs to. And I get like six months out of this easily, easily. In fact, honestly, more. <laughs> so maybe that will help if you're finding your mascaras are drying up really quickly. It's going to be a long video today, guys. <laughs> I hope you've had some snacks and a drink next year. <laughs> Otherwise you'll be dehydrated and famished at this point. My fringe always likes to try and get involved in the mascara process as well. <laughs> Often gets a, gets a coat. For cheeks, we are going to take the Melt Cream Blush Light in Pinched, which was one of the newer shades that they have available. And I'm using a dual fiber brush. It always molts. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And my highlight today is going to be the Melt Cosmetics Sex Foil in Stargazer. I always get too much out when I squeeze it. <laughs> Cause you only need like the tiniest amount. And I'm just tapping that onto my face. You can also use this mixed in with your foundation or just apply it under your foundation. Whatever floats your boat. And cause I've got stuff left over, I'm just gonna spread it out over here. Bit of that, why not? And that just leaves lips. <laughs> And for today's lip look, I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Art Stick in Dusty Pink. I love these art sticks and I have ever since I worked for Bobbi, which was a long time ago, but they're just so good. They come in some beautiful colors and they're, they're just such a great product for your lips. Just cleaning off the balm I had on. Dusty pink, I love. I love this color so much. I wear it so often. And it's so cool because you can line your lips and feel them in at the same time with the same product. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, and that is the finished look for today. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. Uh, let me zoom you out a little bit. I hope that you enjoyed uh, the story time sesh <laughs> and that it was mildly interesting for you to know why I started this YouTube channel. Just let me reiterate once again that all of you who have left comments, who have taken the time to like and subscribe to my videos, you have honestly changed my mindset. You have really given me a boost at times when it's been quite difficult and made me even happier at times when I've been happy. So thank you so much for doing that. Just a few quick thoughts on the Adept Plain Jane Remastered palette I wanted to let you know. I think some of the colors in this palette are really pretty. They're definitely pretty. They look beautiful on the eye. I cannot deny that. I do like this palette, but if I had to choose between my Terra Moons Multichromes and the Multichromes in this palette, I would probably choose my Terra Moons Multichromes, but it is handy having them 
all in the same palette. It's very, it's very convenient. And I love my Minka palette from Adept Cosmetics and I am getting the new one from them, the limited edition one, as well as a mystery box. So I can't wait to get those and I will obviously make videos with them. And just finally, the Ace Beauté Palette Opaly Palette. I love this palette. We're definitely going to do another video with this because it's so good. It's so beautiful. It's so much fun as well. So I think Ace Beauté, they've been having a big sale on, so definitely check their website because you might be able to pick this up on sale and it's so worth it. Thank you once again for hanging out with me today. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll be back soon with probably a shorter video than this one. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>